Good. All right. So, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to episode one, officially, of this... I don't even know what I'm going to call this. I, I called the playlist Viral Vlogs, which is terrible. It's so bad. Um, but that's okay. That's fine. It, it's, it's, it'll do for now. So if you missed episode zero, essentially, I started a new job at a New York City hospital. Obviously, during the height of the uh, coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic. So... Uh, if you want to hear more about my thoughts on starting the job and what the job uh, entails, what I'm going to be doing, now, uh, you can go back to episode zero, the last video in this playlist. Uh, and yeah, I'm going to try to do daily vlogs, very quick, short little tidbits in there just to get my thoughts across. But this one might end up dragging on a bit longer, um, That's and that's so, uh, solely due to the fact that... It's my first day, so a lot of stuff happened, and I really want to uh, talk about it. So, we're moving on. So, today was my first day. Um, I chose to drive in to the city today. Um, I live on Long Island. So, taking the trains right now, it's a bit iffy. I, I'm... I don't know for a fact if they're wiping down surfaces, if they're disinfecting. I don't, to be honest, I really do not trust uh, the New York City, the, the trains, the LIRR. I don't trust the subways. Um, so I'm just trying to keep it uh, as safe as possible. I'm already going into uh, an odd environment, and I don't want to make it any more uh, harmful for myself, for my family. So, with that, I did drive in today. It took me about a little under an hour to drive in, which wasn't bad. Um, I have a parking pass, so I was allowed to park on the street. I went into the hospital, and I started going through the motions of a new job. You know how it is. There's uh, ID badge and uh, orientation type stuff, getting your credentials all set up. So that was pretty much what the majority of my day was, uh, reading materials uh, so I did want to talk about a few things. The, as far as the city goes, here on Long Island, most people are wearing face masks, uh, facial coverings, scarves, bandanas, medical, whatever. Um, I am, I have been, uh, even before, uh, Cuomo enacted the, uh, the facial coverings in public law, I just, I gotta, you know... I wanted to make sure I was safe, all that good stuff. So, a lot of people in New York City don't wear the facial coverings, and that's something that I I noticed. Um, when I was driving in this morning, a lot of people were doing their, you know, like morning morning jogs, morning runs, and a lot of people were not wearing uh, facial coverings. Um, so I don't know how strictly that law is being enforced or exactly what it entails. Like, maybe it's one of those things where I'm mistaken and it's not, like, enforced heavily or maybe that's not the law as I as I know it. But to my knowledge, I I was under the impression that you're supposed to wear them. Um, So I don't know. Long Island, maybe it's a different law, but I, I figured it would be a, a statewide thing. Regardless, just something I noticed on the way in that I thought was a bit odd. Uh, moving on. So, as far as the job goes, this is something that I thought was absolutely fantastic. There's a couple things I thought that I thought were fantastic. First, I feel very safe in my position. I feel, um, I feel secure. I don't feel like I'm in danger or that I'm getting exposed more than I need to. I don't think that my current position would be any more dangerous than the standard office job. They have a lot of precautions in place, obviously. Uh, making sure that I'm not head-to-head -head with uh, patients, that I have little contact with them as possible. Everything that I, I do with the patients is typically from a distance or via telephone, uh, intercom system. So I really don't have much face-to-face -face with them. 
Um, also, my hospital is very small. They don't hold a lot of people there. So that's also another another uh, plus, in my opinion. So I'm probably a little bit better off than other hospitals because there's less room. So not as many people are there, which is nice. Uh, so obviously everyone there is wearing facial coverings, gloves, protective gear, the works, same old that you would expect. Um, but I will double thumbs up to how they're handling it. I got to say they are so calm and organized. It It is really a, a pleasure. So, which is great because that was something that I was worried about starting, uh, prior to starting the job. It's one of those things that obviously is in the back of your mind. Am I going to, you know, be at risk? And I don't feel that I am. Um, no more so than standard working conditions would be. Just because it's a hospital doesn't mean that it's of more of a risk. So, that's awesome. Also, I want to give a big shout out to the local um, uh, businesses around the area who have been donating so much food. <laughs> it's absolutely insane how much food uh, was donated to uh, my hospital nonstop throughout the day. We got breakfast sandwiches in the morning, um, pizza midway through the day. Uh, I, I heard I heard somebody say falafel at some point. Uh, chicken parm, salad, pasta, crazy amount of food. Um, I felt I felt so weird because it was my first day. I was like, I don't deserve any of this, and I and because I was training, I really didn't. Uh, I had um, I had a thing. I had a uh, breakfast wrap or something in the morning, and then midway throughout the day, um, the the person training me uh, told me to go get some pizza, so I grabbed a slice of pizza, and that was nothing. New York City pizza, though. Shout out. Fantastic. Um, but yeah, so that's that's uh, that's really all I had to say as far as the job goes. Um, obviously, I, I'm sure more and more things will come up, but those are my initial uh, impressions of the position. I think it's very, very safe, very organized, calm. Uh, not chaotic in really any way for, you know, for being a hospital in the middle of a pandemic. Everything's great. Uh, so, good things. So, moving on. I, look how technology savvy I am. Also, look at this. Beard, gone. Well, for the most part. I shaved. Looks good, I think. I don't know. I kind of miss having the, the long beard, but apparently, according to everybody else, they like it shorter, so maybe I'll keep it short regardless. Also, shout out to 7-Eleven uh, for being open when Starbucks near me wasn't. So I got some coffee, and 7-Eleven had hand sanitizer, so kill two birds with one stone, because I was out of hand sanitizer, and uh, you know, gotta stay safe. So, moving on. Look how technology advanced I am. Look at this. Yo. I I got my picture and then I got a screen showing the coronavirus cases. Look how tech savvy I am. Ridiculous. All right. So, this is something I wanted to talk about. Uh so this is the curve. Y'all talk about flattening the curve. This is not flat. This is bumpy. It's like a mountain range. I'm joking, obviously. I know what flattening the curve means. But I did want to bring to the attention this massive drop that we're currently on. Look at that. Currently, April 20th, that was yesterday, 4,726 cases confirmed. And if I go over to the left, the last time we were at 4,000 cases was... Alright, that's pretty good. So March 22nd. That's pretty good. We've they dropped heavily, like compared to look up here. We had ten thousand cases over here. We had eleven thousand over here. So I love seeing this this line every every day. I type in this. I type in this New York, uh, this coronavirus New York cases, and I check up to see where the curve is at, where the the numbers are at, because it interests me. I like to you know I like to see where we're headed, if we're doing a good job, if if. Uh, if this is, I can kind of gauge how far this is going to go, uh, how how long it's going to take to go away. 
Um, but yeah, so that's awesome. So from the highest point, which was about here, I guess, 11,571 cases in one day, we're now, we hit 4,726. That's pretty much half. That's about half, right? I'm not good with math. Don't mind. Rough estimate. It's about half though. That's fantastic. That's so good. Um, so keep it up, New York. You're doing a great job. Uh, you know, stay inside, stay indoors. That's one thing I noticed today. I, as I was driving there and then back, um, the signs that at the top of the highway that typically read, uh, you know, accident reports and whatever, they all said, uh, stay at home, save lives, flatten the curve. Every single one, like not a single one was anything other than that, which is crazy. It's, it's, I've never seen that before. I also, I haven't really been driving too much because I'm a good boy and I've been staying at home. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's so good. I'm so glad that, uh, the New Yorkers have really bonded together like this and that we got, that we got it down this far. It's so good. I love it. Anyway. So I think that about wraps it up for episode one. Um, I'm going back in tomorrow for another uh, training session. And uh, so my typical, I, I mentioned this last time, but my typical shift is going to be a night shift. These training sessions are uh, morning to evening. You're, you're typical like nine to five type deal. Uh, so I don't know exactly when I'm going to record these in the future. Once the trainings end and I pick up more of your standard schedule, I'll probably end up, doing them in the midday and covering the night before like in the like I'll probably do like the morning and then I'll cover the night before cuz I I can't imagine myself coming home, you know, past midnight, taking a shower and then like recording and editing and putting up a video. That seems insane. So, I'll probably end up doing that. But all in all, thank you guys for watching. As always, uh I'll throw my social media down in the description. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, whatever I have on there. And uh, I post—I've been posting a lot on Twitter lately. I, I like—I like the platform, even though I don't have many followers on there. It's like—it's—it's uh, it's like cathartic to talk to, you know, get your thoughts out and whatnot. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow with another episode. Uh, so be safe, wash your hands, and I'll see you real soon.